Perfect conditions, calm and dry as Ireland played host to France, both sides victorious in their opening encounters. A first home game of the campaign for the defending champs and the Aviva Stadium was packed for this much anticipated encounter. The French made just one change with Eddie Ben Aru coming into the side at loose head for his first start, replacing the injured Alexander Menini. Joe Schmidt made three changes from the side that won in Rome on match day one. Johnny Sexton made a welcome return to the starting 15 after his enforced concussion break. Sean O'Brien returned to the back row alongside number eight, Jamie Heaslip. Kean Healy started on the subs bench after a lengthy absence through injury. Chances were scarce in the early stages, but it was the home side who took the lead approaching the quarter hour. France were penalised by referee Wayne Barnes for lifting Jamie Heaslip in the mall. And it gave the returning Sexton a chance to open his account from a difficult angle. His kick was right on target to give Ireland a 3-0 lead with 13 minutes elapsed. However, it didn't take long for France to get back on level terms. Just three minutes later, Ireland were penalised when Rob Carney held on to the ball, having been tackled. And Camille Lopez scored with the resultant penalty to maintain his 100% kicking record in the tournament so far, 3-3 in a closely fought game. In a first half that was punctuated by penalties, Ireland edged back in front in the 18th minute. With Joe Schmidt's men on the attack, the French were penalised for offside. The men in green played on with a penalty to come, but when no advantage accrued, the ref brought it back for the original offence just outside the 22, and Sexton once again stroked the penalty over for a six points to three lead. <laughs> Open flowing rugby it was not, but Ireland continued to grind away, and just past the half hour, France were once again penalised, this time for not releasing in the tackle. The penalty count was mounting up, and Sexton made them pay with a kick from 37 metres out, leaving it 9-3 for Ireland. But there was never too much between the sides, and four minutes before the break, after Rory Best had been whistled for offside, Lopez kicked the penalty to bring it back to a three-point game, Ireland 9, France 6. In the final minute of the half, Ireland re-established a six-point lead when Ben Aru was penalised for handling in the ruck. The referee being kept very busy at the breakdown. And Sexton had the easy task of knocking it over to give Ireland a 12-6 lead at the half-time break. Shortly after the restart, as Ireland attacked, Sexton ran at Matthew Bastereau and the players accidentally clashed heads. Pre-match, there'd been a lot of focus on Sexton as he came back from a three-month concussion and forced absence. And there was concern for both men who were forced to leave the field with blood injuries. Thankfully, they were both able to resume after some patchwork on the sidelines. While Sexton was receiving treatment, his replacement, Ian Madigan, slotted over another penalty to stretch Ireland's lead to 15-6. Then on 52 minutes, French second row Pascal Pape was judged to have deliberately kneed Jamie Heaslip in the back. Perhaps the Stade Francais lock was a little fortunate that the colour of Wayne Barnes' card wasn't red, having led with his knee into the Irish captain's back. However, the yellow meant Les Bleus were reduced to 14 men for 10 minutes. Before that time had elapsed, Ireland were also reduced to 14 men for a spell, as Rory Best was spotted using his feet as Thierry Doucetoir picked up. And it would mean 10 minutes in the sin bin as well for the Ulster hooker. The evidence was pretty clear, and Best can have little argument. Despite his absence, Ireland made it 18-6 with another well-struck Sexton penalty in the 68th minute. However, France turned the screw with Best off the field, and as the game moved into the last 10 minutes, we finally saw the French move the ball to good effect. 
The introduction of Morgan Parra seemed to give San Andres men an extra element. And another substitute, Roman Teofia was on the end of a crossfield move to blast over the line for the first try of the game. Rob Carney unable to stop the big Toulon second row as he barged his way over for the score. Lopez was off target with the conversion, but it was back to 18-11, and France were within a converted try of getting a draw. Despite a period of French pressure, the Ireland rear guard held out, and as the game moved past the 80-minute mark, France ran out of time and were forced into touch to end a bruising encounter. It certainly wasn't the prettiest game of rugby, but importantly, it was a second win for the home side, who now face England in Dublin in a crucial game next time out. Ireland's hopes of retaining the title remain alive as they record a ninth straight test success. France, who've now only won three of 16 tests away from home under San André, will host Wales in a must-win game. It finished at the Aviva Stadium, Ireland 18, France 11.